Today is Monday, the 15th of June, 2009. My name is Philip Snow, and I'm uh, continuing with a series of uh, videos in which I'm uh, aiming to uh, explain at least my understanding of what we might expect over the next few years uh, as we approach 2012, which you've probably heard could be a, a time of very great change of uh, some sort. And my understanding is that it will be, uh, and actually that the changes is taking place now, uh, and the changes will accelerate over the, uh, the coming three or four years. And what I'm going to do today is to cut to the chase and uh, say how I believe the, the big change, the quantum leap, uh, will actually manifest, how it will be expressed, how we will experience it in our own personal daily lives and what we'll see in the world. And it's a, it's, it's a kind of brave thing to do, really, because in some ways I'd rather uh, be able to start off by giving you all the reasons why things will change and what the, what the mechanisms are and so on and so forth. But that's going to take some time, and I think, you'd, I think most people would probably quite like to know what it's all about and, and what's going to happen. And so uh, what I'm going to say to you is that my understanding is that the quantum leap will be expressed and experienced in our lives as a growth of love, primarily both in ourselves individually and in our immediate uh, surroundings and throughout the, the world, that the one thing which, more than anything, I think, characterizes uh, what this quantum leap is all about is the, uh, the expression of much more love in the world. I'm not going to say that it will be absolute love uh, and I think we're talking about degrees here. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to explain something about what degree of more love in the world will look like. And I think most of us have some understanding of what love is. And you'll know that I'm not talking about romantic love or exclusive love. Uh, what I'm talking about is uh, love for everyone and everything uh, more in an unconditional sense. Uh, we don't, won't love because of. Um, we'll just love. And our experience will be that we ourselves will feel more loving. And we will express that uh, in our daily lives. In all the um, in all the ways we relate to other people, to the situations we find ourselves in, to uh, what we feel uh, we could do um, to help our communities, uh, our nation, our world, it's more to do with how we will feel. And uh, in a later video, I'll I'll go into more of the reasons why we ourselves are likely to feel more loving. Uh, but my understanding is that that's exactly what will happen. And in many ways what we need to do is to um, anticipate that and begin to express it. Uh, one of the ways we could do this is to begin to act as if we're feeling more loving. Uh, actually acting as if we're feeling more loving uh, is a very good basis for actually becoming more loving. And uh, I dare say that you're beginning to wonder whether I'm uh, talking in, in uh, Christian terms, for example, because Jesus talked about love and his whole gospel was about love. And I am. Um, 
and I have said that I want to talk in, in universal terms, and I do, uh, rather than aligning myself with any particular uh, philosophy. Um, but it seems that this is really what the world needs, and uh, you know we've heard many times in uh, the recent past that about love is all you need, uh, love is the answer, love conquers everything, uh, and it's true. Um, but somehow we haven't always seen love being expressed in the world, and the reason for this largely is because collectively our level of consciousness, our level of awareness of who we are and what life is all about has been at a certain level. There's no, there's no element of blame here. Uh, we have been where we are in terms of our level of consciousness. And levels of consciousness and awareness is always a matter of degree. And the overall level of consciousness in the world in recent times has been at the level which has provided the kind of world we've been living in. I'm not going to say that it's good or it's bad or put a figure on it, uh, but this is the way that it's been. And this degree of love being expressed in the world uh, has been um, an expression of the level of consciousness. And as our level of consciousness rises, as it is doing at the moment, very, very rapidly, um, and in an accelerating way, uh, in preparation for going through literally a quantum leap in consciousness, uh, we will find that love is being expressed much, much more in our own lives and in the world as a whole. And you can probably even now begin to imagine how great a difference that uh, would would cause. Um, for example, if the, if the if the leaders of the great institutions like government um, and the churches and academia and military even um, lived from a level of of greater loving, everything would change very, very, very greatly. And this is what I see coming. And this will be the, uh, it'll be the fulfillment in many ways of uh, what Christ was saying 2,000 years ago. And uh, in fact, I'll quote from a, a, a book I read, it's not part of the mainstream Christian literature, um, but uh, Jesus was quoted as saying, I am a catalyst whose task it is to make the doors of the heart vibrate in a new way by the end of the next two millennia. And when he was talking about the doors to the heart vibrating in a new way, he was talking about the growth of love. And of course, when he talked about the end of the next two millennia, he was talking about the 2000 year period, which is now. And so this will be a fulfillment of, of his ministry. And it will really be, I think, what most of us want. And, you know, I think we've always wanted to see more, a more caring society, a more loving society, more compassionate society. And we can, this is the time when uh, it can happen.